Welcome to Crypto Dex World. Get ready for a new payment system, UPCX and Paysicle. Let's go. All right, guys, get excited. UPCX is back and they're better and bigger than ever. What do they have going on? Well, we're going to jump into it. But before we do, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research, due diligence, and don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose. All right. This is a high performance Web3 public chain, but it's undervalued by the market. Why is that? Because it's a noisy crypto market. A lot of things are going on. I know. But UPCX has been building an ecosystem since 2024, currently trading around two bucks with a cap of approximately one hundred and eighty seven million this remains far below its long-term value and has use cases for expanding partnership and it's not just another layer one so what exactly is it well, it's not trying to be everything to everyone projects don't work like that but it's a customized version of the graphene blockchain technology and delegated proof of stake fault and also a consensus mechanism with over a hundred thousand transactions per second tps and sub second finality and the difference is, unlike other blockchains that go down to NFT or DeFi, UPCX prioritizes payments and just paying a few cents, just like in gas, gas fees or bridging fees to automatically settle utility. So what is it good at? Real world implementation. That's the big problem that happens. DeFi is great, but a lot of people, when you say, okay, MetaMask, do this, do that, they get confused. It's not just con concepts or conceptual. And it has real milestones and it has a collaboration with the Japanese telecom giant NTT Docom and Paysicle to use blockchain to censor data and stable coin payments. So it's not just talk. UPCX will tap in to Japan's 12 million crypto users and leverage NTT. And we also have the event momentum with WebEx 2025, where it's shown demos of its wallet, programmable features, high performance networks, engaging rave reviews. And it also spawned series a Formula E Tokyo Grand Prix. And we can see the token model avoids short-term incentive traps common in Web3, focusing on long-term stability. We can see here the graph. Now, why is it undervalued? The risk and potential around $2.187 million total market cap. It's a pullback from all-time highs and lags far behind the payment networks, as we can see examples. Ripple, Solana, Stellar, UPCX. On-chain data actually reveals larger holders remain stable during volatile times, signaling confidence in long-term path, and the community is watching the applications. Also, the risk remains as Asia regulatory shifts could slow expansion and the payment track is competitive. So what is the conclusion? UPCX is subtle, yet has an intriguing spot ahead of partnerships, landings, the ecosystems facing, but the market hasn't fully grasped it. What does matter is, isn't hyper concepts, but it's consistent delivering on product partnerships and data. If this executes on key metrics within one to two years, today's early valuation may look like an inflection point. So that is it in a nutshell. Very exciting stuff, guys. I'm going to pay Sickle Co., LTD Fantasia, Yakakoma, Yasset Bank, and this includes a memorandum of understanding with Paysicle right here. As I talked about, this entered to a business partnership with Fantasia on November 6th with the addition of YAB. And the first step of this basic agreement is to apply the payment related technology which utilizes blockchain know how and vintage car trading in that area. We can also see the comments and the future outlook. And we have Paysicle, Fantasia, Yab, Triport move to jointly build a new global high-end card RWA real world asset system on UPCX. And as the great public blockchain right here with the market listed company, a leading player in high-end trading card sector and the understanding of memorandum. <laughs> Right here, Paysicle also signed a business cooperation with Fantasia, and both parties are advancing the development services based on that technology. And we can see their cooperation details with planning development, design and operation, joint marketing, construction, and other related businesses agreed upon the consultation. All three parties are going to continue to explore various forms of capital cooperation, including establishment of joint ventures, implementation of third parties, and Paysicle will maintain close cooperation with Fantasia and Yab to accelerate that development based on the blockchain network and is going to promote results in the future. Now, how does that fit into Paysicle and UPCX? How do they intertwine? Well, we can actually see right here. It's a blockchain-based open source payment platform and opens to secure transparent and compliant financial services and user-issued assets. Also, it offers decentralized exchanges, APIs, SDKs, payment solutions, uh, point-of-sale applications, as well as Paysicle. 
and possesses extensive experience in the fields of blockchain, fintech, and quantum computing resistant cryptography algorithms, engages in research development since 2018, and the company has made its mission to leverage technology for a better future. So basically, UPCX turning up, this is a new revolution in payments. This is a new revolution in DeFi. Let me know what you think down below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.